neck firm, like more good. Cheek. You'll be good. We are in the seaside town of Getaria, which is about a 30 minute bus ride outside of San Sebastian. We're here for two reasons. First of all, we want to go see the Balenciaga Museum, which is one of Young's favorite designers. So we're going to go see that and we'll give you that in another video. In this video, we are going to show you the town of Getaria and we're going to also show you El Cano, which is a Michelin star restaurant that specializes in the cooking of whole turbo. Everybody talks about this place. They want a Michelin star for that. They also make what's called cococho, which is a Basque specialty of the fish cheek. And they also make other kinds of whole fish. They have some steak and they have some non-seafood stuff, but this is a seafood restaurant. Don't come here and get steak for crying out loud. Get seafood, this is a seafood restaurant. That's what you get. Anyway, we're gonna go try it. We're gonna see if it's any good. And if it's any good, you can come try it yourself. The whole world eats with you With some pinchos and chocoli The sun comes shining through I'm just sitting here in the town of Getaria, enjoying the weather, enjoying the beautiful ocean breezes. You can smell smoke coming out of all of the hateteas and all of the different restaurants. And they all smell wonderful. The view from this little hill overlooking the port is great. I'm gonna show you that in a minute and it is definitely a worthwhile, relaxing day to spend if you're headed towards Gitaria.
specializes in fish. They have chuleta or beef on the menu, but they don't specialize in it, so why would I order it? I did notice they have lobster on the menu. I'll probably wind up ordering that. They haven't told us the specials yet. Uh, but I got myself a Chardonnay because Chardonnay goes very well with lobster. Young, on the other hand, she's been looking at their grilled whole turbot. She probably wants that. Uh, well, she has been looking at your grilled turbot for uh, two years. Uh, the turbot, I'll share it with you. I know you really want it. Let's, let's get it. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get one and we'll share it. And it's so big that she won't be able to finish it by herself. Now, I'm not a fish person, but I'm not going to let her pass up what she's been craving for two years just because I'm not a fish person. I'll go ahead and I'll share with her. And if I don't love it, I won't eat a lot of it. But at least she can try and she doesn't have to feel guilty about not ordering it or about ordering it and yeah. leaving a whole bunch over. And of course, like I said, the bread in Spain, always really substantial, fundamental bread. The bread's good. Did you dip it in olive oil? I dip mine in olive oil. Mm. Oh, nice grassy olive oil with it. Delicious. So, this restaurant earned a Michelin star for the way they cook their turbot. And, uh, and this is just a part of the whole meal. They've given us essentially tuna sashimi. So good. I'm going to try a little bit of it. Yeah. Young is probably going to eat the rest of mine. He's, very mild. He's it's, eating. <laughs> yes, it's a very mild tuna sashimi. It's very good. Okay, I, you can I, eat it. You yeah. can eat the rest of it. Very mild and really soft. Mm -hmm. It's almost like ceviche, upscale ceviche. You know, the first time I ever tried ceviche was here in Spain when I was in college. And uh, I actually liked it. It is a, a very nice dish. And now you see ceviche mm -hmm. from all over the South American countries. Mm -hmm. They serve it a little bit different. Really they make not. it with shrimp. They make it with calamari. Uh, but the ceviche in Spain is made with white fish. Yeah. It's made with peppers and onions. And, um, and it's quite good. Mm -hmm. beer Local sick. beer, a blonde lager. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's really good. Should I try it? Sure. Very, very good. The local beers in the Basque country are always quite good. Yeah. Very, very light and mild. Oh, that's good. That's, that's a little sweet. Yeah. It's a nice beer. They bring out the fish hole. They show it to you. Then they take it outside. They cut it up into the various pieces. And they serve it to you cut up. Well, I will tell you that uh, they brought it out. It was not giant, so it was a good size for yeah. us. Yeah. I may yeah. just have a little bit, and then yeah. Young can eat most of it by herself. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Very nice. 
Thank you very much. Two types of skin. It has a white one and a black one. Okay. Put one, one of each one and a part of the skin that has, that has on the side. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. So she was telling us there they have a light skin and a dark skin on every fish, and so she cut it in half and she put half of the light skin on my plate, half of the light skin on Young's plate, half of the dark skin on my plate, half of the dark skin on Young's plate. They also deboned the fish and they put the bones separately on the plate, especially for those people who want to chew around the bones and get the fish near the bones, like Young. All right, let's taste it. Okay, let's taste it. And I'm sure that Young showed you, she videoed uh, the woman taking the fish and cutting it up and thing and they oh, have great. what they call the pew pew sauce that they usually put over it that's um, like a olive oil a green olive oil and fish okay the moment of truth turbo very mild fish but it is a fish and I can taste the fish in it yeah but it's very mild. It's amazingly fresh. And almost like between the flesh and cooked. Mm. Wow. Very good. There are still little pin bones in the mm -hmm. fish, even though she took it apart. Uh, I just got one and put it off on the plate. Yeah? Yes. The fish near the dark skin is a little fishier. Fish near the light skin is Which a little is less. Skin? This is the dark skin. Oh. Dark skin is more fishy. Mm -hmm. Very lightly cooked. Yes. Mm. Is it what you expected? Yes. Okay, good. When I was uh, growing up in Korea, um, my mom used to buy a lot of this. Usually, ladies in our town. They all go out in the morning, catch the fishes. Before even sunrise, they um, go to door to door and sell those fishes they catch in the morning. And then um, whatever they do not sell, and then they usually bring it to my grandma because usually my grandma get them the rest of them so they, they can get paid. Usually they catch a lot of a turbo. It's, it's not this big, it's very small. And then my mother dry them all. And then uh, my mom my mom used to grill the, the one dried fish, grill them. Oh, that was my favorite. And when she grilled them, I eat with um, gochujang, which is Korean uh, chili paste. That was my favorite. This one is not like that at all. This one is very fresh. But it's really good. Keep yeah. The flavor of mm -hmm. the fish. This very European style Korea. I really like it. We've yeah. mentioned several times already. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the one of the best parts of Spanish cooking, yeah. Spanish cuisine, is they go with quality ingredients and they respect the nature of the ingredient. They don't overdo it. They don't go crazy with sauces and spices instead what happens is they just take good quality ingredients and let the quality of the ingredients shine through mm -hmm. and they did that here too this is classic spanish cooking mm -hmm. um getaria or getaria or however you say it. i think it's getaria is how they say it here uh it's a classic spanish fishing town this town has been around well, clearly it's been well established since the 1500s. There were some really important fishermen. In fact, the first man who circumnavigated the world uh, came from this town. And, uh, and it isn't Magellan, it is, what was his name? I forget his name, but he's a guy from here. We just walked down his street. There's a whole street full of houses from the 1500s. No, no, Elcano was one of the first establishers of this town, but the the man, there's just a whole bunch of houses on that one street, on Elcano Street, uh, that were the original houses in the area, and they were built in the 1500s. And uh, this was a huge, huge seafaring town. I have been hearing 
nonstop for two years, ever since Young first saw a video uh -huh. of them cooking a whole fish here mm -hmm. on the grill outside. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard about how we've Wait, got to. Yes, I heard about how we have to go to El Cano, and she has to get the whole fish. And we got here, and she said, "Well, I don't know that I can finish the whole thing." And I was just thinking, if she comes here and doesn't get the whole fish for the next two years, I'm going to hear her. I should have gotten the whole fish when I was there. I should have tried it. It looked so good. I should have tried. So you know what? Let her get it. It's not like I was craving anything else on the menu. So I'm trying it. Do you want to? Do you want to? Have him cut it up? No, I cut it up. Okay. She'll cut it. There is a classic Basque dish here called cococha. And cococha is the cheeks of the fish. They normally will make that out of merluza or hake. But out of the turbo here that they cook, they do make a cococha that you can try the turbo cococha. So gonna make a cococha he was going to make a cococha out of this, but you said don't do it. Do you oh, want him to make yeah, it? Yeah, I didn't okay. know that. I didn't understand that. Okay. Can I eat this? Yes, you can eat that. You can eat the whole thing if you want. Whoa, whoa. Don't be throwing the fish in my lap, though. Okay. I don't want my pants to smell like fish for the next three days. Sometimes a little bit bitter area. The chest from the black side, the chest from the white side. Black and white chest. The look at the neck. Sometimes it seems like more cooked when they dry it. The neck from the white and the neck from the black side. So, chest bitter, neck firm, like more cooked. Chick, you be good today, the chick for you. In the present that give you the grandfather or grandmother, you be good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> chick on the back, the chick on the white side. Bitter, firm, chick, crunchy. Or gelatinous, this is still butter. Mm -hmm. Oh! Turbot, you want gelatinous, the other gelatin added. just like a scientist and he was so fast and I don't know which one is. I can't remember. I do know that this is the gelatin. This is the gelatin. Yes. I'm not crazy about the gelatin. Yeah. So he put the gelatin in the spoon and what is this? This is I believe the head, the neck, the cheek. Okay let me start to uh, check the head. Part is tastes like more cooked or a little bit hotter. The meat in the middle, real meat, is very fresh and soft. But this one is a little bit hotter. It's really tasty. Actually, the head part of the fish is my favorite. Very, very good. What is this one? The neck. Neck. So this is the middle. Neck part is very meaty, meatier and denser, more, much more dense. The meat is more like a tight. What is this one? I don't know. Okay, I taste this one. They're all from the head. Ooh, just amazing. All types is different. This is more like um, chewier. 
this is more like a gluten, it's more like a chewier. And uh, this part. He said that was really crunchy, and that is the, the fish cheek. Part. Mmm. A lot of gelatin in there. Mmm. That's very good. And uh, what is this part? It's another part of the fish. <laughs> fish. Okay. This it's all fish. What can I say? Near the, this is a fin. Oh. Fin size. Let me taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, really tasty. Okay, so I'm I'm obviously not a fish lover. This is not my place. But if you are a fish lover, mm -hmm. this is an experience you probably it's don't want to pass up. Yeah. Probably, yeah. I finished the whole thing. But... Okay. So my favorite part of the uh, dish is head part. So this is my favorite part. All the good things here take my time and finish the whole thing. Now she's not going to bury her face in it and go, wah, wah, but she is going to eat it all. Eat it all. Look at this. This is almost like a chicken. Mm. Uh oh. Our niece is going to be very amazed Why? that Young is eating fish chicken. It's like fish chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, everything's so good. Really, really good. But thin part is my favorite. And if you are a fish lover, this place won a Michelin star for this dish. So it's certainly worth coming for that. Now for me, if you have a fish and it's got a fishy flavor, it's not edible for me. I really can't eat fishy tasting fish. I will tell you, for those of you who are not fish lovers, who have spouses who are fish lovers, this is a fine place to come because this fish is incredibly mild. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a strong fish flavor. Yeah. And so it is edible for those of us who don't like fish. Mm -hmm. But for those of you who do like fish, it's amazing, out of this world, delicious. Delicious. So they had a couple of things here that looked interesting. They had something called a milojas, which is a traditional Spanish dessert that comes with vanilla ice cream and coffee ice cream. I came that close to getting it, but she said that their cheese ice cream is their specialty. And on this trip, I seem to be falling in love with cheese ice cream. So I'm gonna try the cheese ice cream here. It comes with a berry sauce over it, and that's gonna be the dessert. Now, dessert is my thing. The fish was hers, the dessert is mine. I can already tell you I'm gonna enjoy this part of the meal. So we got the cheese ice cream. Apparently, uh, one portion they serve for two people. And it comes with berry, a berry sauce on it. Now it's interesting because you might think, well, a cheese ice cream, that's like a cheesecake. But no, they also have cheesecake ice cream that's separate from a cheese ice cream. So this has more of a cheese flavor than a cheesecake. But it's still really good. And it's still sweet. It's beautiful. Beautiful, oh, and soft. It's got a berry flavor to it. Mm, that is so good. The difference between a cheese ice cream and a cheesecake ice cream is a cheesecake ice cream is a little bit sweeter. Cheese ice cream is a little bit more savory, but it has a hint of sweetness to it. But it's really, it's really good. And something about the savoriness of the cheese with its slight touch of sweetness and the berry sauce such a good combination. I could live off that. I could live off it. Young can eat all her fish, all the fish she wants. I want the ice cream. <laughs>